Yeah, stay in the air and these girls really can't do anything to you. Really can't do anything to you if you stay in the air. Huh. She walked right into my sight. Stupid. Oh, you're getting it now. And let's punish you. Rip you in half. Ha ha ha. Okay, now we gotta be ready for this next part, because she will try to kill us. Cleopatra. See that thing on top? Gotta press R1, because if you miss that, you'll fall to your death. <laughs> Once a new platform comes on, we move on to the second phase. Which involves another round of fighting. You this time with enemies we can absolve. And some we cannot. So, as always, focus on the enemies you can uh, take out pretty quickly. Such as these, uh, like in this case, particularly the guys who you can't actually absolve. Whoa. Again, you always seem to like to target the enemies who you cannot actually kill instantly. I never know why they put that stupid programming in there. Whoa. Stay away from me, stupid woman. Uh, I don't know. That one quote is probably now going to get me in a lot of trouble with a lot of people now. And who am I kidding? She was sent to the second circle. Does anyone really have pity for her? I think not. And now, holy barrage. Heart off. Oh, you jerk. There we go. Alright. That's two... That's two, uh... Waves down. Whoa! Uh, whoa. Okay, what do you got? Ew, that's gross! How would you do that? Alright, well, we gotta do uh, something particular to advance, but let's first uh, take out some babies while we're at it. Because they really are not that hard to take out. They really are not. Well, we have to. I guess we have to, don't we? Oh so, yeah, punish everyone because they were bad. They tried to kill me, and I don't. I frown upon people who try to kill me. And for every wave of babies, you uh, get another one of those platforms up. And now that both platforms are up, we can actually proceed with the next phase. But first, I want to just keep killing these guys for their experience. We can't get any more souls, but I'm pretty sure you can still get whole unholy experience. So really, if you wanted, you could stay here the whole time and just keep uh, uh, getting uh, experience from the babies if you really wanted to. But really, do we do we really have the time to do that? I think not. I'm just at the ah uh, yeah. So at this point, I in a bit, I'm gonna start working on actually taking out Cleopatra. Cause the secret here, attacker hands. Hey, stop attacking me. Stop! Stop it, you frickin'... You are evil children. You... I don't care if you were never baptized. I don't care if you never sinned in your life. You are evil children. For that, you are getting punished. Time out. For eternity. She's with Lucifer now. Come on, let go of the platform! 
I'm getting a little frustrated here. Uh, get off me, you freaking bastard. My god. I'm starting to develop a unrational hatred for children. Why are you not... There we go. Okay. Once she lets go of the platform... Oh, god. Pull the... Oh, god. I pulled the wrong lever. I pulled the wrong lever first. You think I would have realized I was pulling the wrong lever, but I guess not. Ow, oh, stupid babies. What? Did you attack me when I was... God. I'm not liking these children anymore. In fact, they're starting to kill me. Oh god, we got harlots too? Alright, flip this lever quickly before those snakeheads turn back around. Yep, we burn our breasts and that's the battle. Huzzah! Alright. And we actually get full healed. That's really nice. Thank you, game, for healing me fully. So here, feel free to keep using the Holy Cross. Just because no one really likes the, any of these enemies. Stay to the air! Stay to the air, though, because... Seriously, these are all very annoying. God damn- I'm on Zeliot. Why am I taking so much damage? I should be not taking anywhere near this much damage. Also, uh, something about these, um, what are they called? Succubus or seduct seductresses? I don't remember, but there is uh, one thing you should note about them. Um, they are capable of is this the right way? This is the right way to go. Let's not go that way. But, um, I do know they have this, uh, attack where they can, uh, kind of, in a sense, uh, seduce you. Like, you have to tap, uh, I think the circle button to avoid, uh, getting, uh, trapped in their, uh, spell or something. Who do we have here? It was not the oh, look, it's Paolo it Malatesta. He committed adultery with Francesca, the wife of his brother. He too spends eternity yearning for his beloved, enveloped in the tremendous winds of lust. Let's absolve him, because we're a nice guy. Seriously, this minigame is kind of boring. Or maybe not so much boring as it is, just really, uh... dull. Um... Can we have a faster game, or maybe some music still, please? Alright. Level 3 holy, alright. Let's see what we can get now. Oh yeah, now I can get this. Divine Armor. This is an amazing magic spell. Want it? Yes we do. Uh, let's see what else do I want. I don't really use redemption that much, so... i uh, leave that as is. Well actually, now that I uh, have a magic spell I'm actually going to use, let's actually go ahead and start getting some... Uh, Upgrades. Uh, get another health upgrade. Magic upgrade. And let's get out of here. Alright, go around here. And let's start heading back down the path of. Uh, whoa. 
electric zap zap. That's not a good thing. Alright. But yeah, let's start moving forward again. Make sure we don't get in the way of the electricity. And I just wait it out. Whoa. Okay, now we there is a relic over there, but we cannot get it yet. Oh, ow. That was a mistake. But we have another damn soul already. Samiri, miss. The legendary queen of Azira was so given the lust, she made legal those sensual vices of which she was often accused. Now she suffers for her desires. Right, let's absolve her then. Yes, we're going to absolve one of the most lustful people in history. Aren't we so generous? We are completely pure apart and don't care who gets into heaven at all, do we? Uh, moving on. Back to this minigame. So, to just kind of uh, pass a little time in this boring mono monotony, um, I was actually notified by one of my viewers, um, Hung Fat Choi. Uh, he actually explained to me why, uh, Dante doesn't seem to have shaven, despite having come home to his wife and all that. Um, according to him, uh, well, hold on a second, uh, I can't zoom in, but if you look at Dante, he has like a, well, no, no, not, not, now is not a good, t uh, reason, actually, no. Back when he was wearing his garment, the, uh, actually, let me, uh, actually, I can show it. Yeah, the Dante here with the red cross cross and the white garment. Um, it says Crusader, but particularly uh, Dante is a Knight's Templar. And what that means is that Dante, um, he actually, as a rule of being a Templar, he's not allowed to shave. So, yeah, that's what that was about. He, he should have a beard. I don't know why he doesn't. I don't know. Maybe he did shave. I, I have no idea. Stop asking me, viewers. Alright, but we got the Arrow of Paris. Grab attack damage is increased. I'm really not going to use it. Oh yeah, and there was Tristan's Desire. Increases the damage of all magic attacks. So it goes hand in hand with the Stone of Wrath, which reduces the cost of all magic spells. Not really going to use it though. And my Death Blade is actually finished leveling up, so let's find something else to uh, level up instead. Uh, let's see. Well, now that I'm on... Uh, yeah, now that I'm a... Uh, level 3, I can actually equip this now. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not level 3 yet. Uh, we can equip Charon's Ore, I guess. Alright, gonna be a little ready here. And jump! Alright, climb. There we go. Not gonna use the statue yet. Or do I? And eh, what the heck. We'll use the save statue now. Let's save here. And how long have I been going for? Uh, almost an hour. I'm gonna keep going though. I plan to try to cover three circles with each recording. So that, um, I can get through this game in three recording sessions from the last recording session. And we have found another piece of Judas. Hooray. Jump back across and, yeah, let's save again. Why not? Because we got a boss battle coming up. Let's climb, and here we are. Beatrice, don't do this. Because of you, I must. I would never do anything to cause this. Oh, but you did cause this. Let me refresh your memory. Look into your beloved's eyes, Dante. Look. Dante, look. Beatrice, what have I done? Do we have an arrangement? I'm no brute. Guards, release this one and her brother. You broke your promise. 
You don't know what it was like. But she does know what it was like. I showed her. Beatrice, don't. I have no choice. Oh my god. She's gonna have sex with the devil. No! So your girl left you for Lucifer. My faults are mine, but she doesn't deserve this. I have to set things right. Give up the little bitch, Dante. Once this dirty business is complete and Lucifer's way home is reopened, her part in this play will seem so small. I don't understand. Of course you don't. You just gave up the keys to the kingdom. And for what? The tits of a slave girl. Damn you! Too late for that. And now to give Lucifer the time he needs. Oh crap, she's gonna kiss me! No, don't do it! What? Mistress, let me have him. As you wish, Antony. Oh my gosh, Mark Antony! So yeah, this is one of those things where you definitely want to focus on a... Whoa. Okay. When she's trying to heal him, knock her off with the... I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just like trying to attack him. I am taking a bunch of unnecessary damage, which really is not what I want to do. Okay, screw it. Divine Armor! This is how amazing Divine Armor is. It's basically complete immunity. You can attack him all you want. Ow. Until it runs off, and basically you are completely immune. Oh, careful of that. Ow. You know, there's a good way of fighting him, and I forget what it is. Shut up. I just forget how I'm supposed to fight him. Take out the hand, or else he'll get all his health back. Okay, I think I'm getting back to the... I'm getting into the swing of things now. Ow! Ow. I mean, sure, he's not really doing much damage to me, but it's still... Still, it's annoying. Alright, that's it. You are going down. Yeah, this is a magic, one of the best magics in the game. Feel free to abuse it all you want. And it only gets better as you level it up. Whoa. And just like that, we've defeated Mark Antony and got his relic. Let's see what it is. Increases the rate at which Dante stores redemption energy. Nothing I'm going to use because I really don't use redemption. 